Okay, so in this video, we are going to go over how you can create a client onboarding form in monday.com. It is super, super simple. I'll firstly show you what it looks like. So um, <clears throat> this is an example of what it can look like. You can also add your logo up here. Um, basically, it's just a form. Um, and once somebody fills in all of the details um, and hits submit, then it creates a task in monday.com and then you can go ahead and uh, set up automation so that it automatically assigns that task to yourself as the business owner or to your business manager or the project manager, whoever it will be, uh, based on what is filled in in here. Um, in terms of the client onboarding form, you just need to think about um, what you need from the client. So obviously we need their name, email, um, for this, this was for uh, like agency type services. So we needed the link to their social platforms, their websites. Um, and then these are the most important ones because we wanna make sure that we have these on file for when your client onboards. Um, then it's gonna make all of the projects that you're doing for them really easy in the future. So uh, the URL to the cloud-based folder with their brand guides, their logos, their colors, and their fonts. Um, so basically all of their branding information should be uploaded into a Google Drive, OneDrive, uh, something that's online that you can access and that's where they put that link. Um, uh, a, U, a URL with their cloud-based folder um, to all of their branded photos and then same for any branded videos especially when you're working um, and providing agency services, this is really important for you to have on reference with all of your clients. So once somebody hits submit in here, um, it shows up in your um, monday.com board, which as you can see here, we have one person that has filled this in. Um, it hasn't automatically been assigned to anyone yet, but basically if you wanted to automatically assign it, all you would need to do is click add new automation and then you can just hit oh let me move my face i'll put me up there um so we have item creation so we'll go down to item creation if my internet wants to work there we go okay when da, da, da. We want when an item is created, assign here. When an item is created, assign someone as assignee. So we can use this template. So when a new item is created, that's basically when somebody fills in this form, um, they're going to then assign, um, we'll add an assignee and it is, we'll do me. Um, Taylor just because I will then be able to know okay this client has now filled in their onboarding form um, and we need to go ahead and start working on their projects and then I'll be able to create the tasks for the other projects um, and will assign me as the assignee. Create automation. Um, oh this column no longer exists. Okay cool so if you encounter this problem, um, oh, it does exist, it's right here. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I'm not gonna troubleshoot that. Yours should not um, do that because um, it will be a brand new board. Um, I have played around with some of these columns and move them around, change different things. So that's why it's a little bit glitchy. Um, I could definitely troubleshoot that, but I'm not gonna do it in this video. But basically, if you wanna set up a board like this in monday.com, what you need to do is click add and then choose from templates because there's a really easy template that you can use for this. Now we want to do, 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 do I think it's in content production, creative process. We want a creative request. Maybe it's in marketing. Here we go, creative request form. And so if we preview this, as you can see, this is what the board looks like when um, somebody has filled in um, the different areas. Um, again, they have their creative request form, which is very similar to mine. Um, and then you can start to get, um, obviously you can uh, look at the workload based on the team members 
and then the statuses of the jobs as well. So it's a really fantastic um, board to use when you are onboarding a new client. Um, so you would just click use template and then it's just gonna go ahead and create the board for you. And this is a completely brand new board. So I might actually show you now with that automation because it'll work this time. Um, we're in status, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's fine, okay, so. Um, the great thing about monday.com is the automations. It's my number one favorite thing about Monday. So we wanna go item creation again. And then when an item is created, assign someone as a signee. Assign me as a signee. Create automation. Awesome. Cool. So that is um, the automation to assign somebody as the task owner, basically. If you wanted to, from there, you could also set up an automation so that once the um, onboarding process once the onboarding information has uh, been looked over it creates a new task for somebody else so we could go um, again item creation and then we want to look for when status changes to something create an item yes this is the one that we want so you could do when status changes to uh, let's do status changes to done. So it's complete. Maybe I've gone in, I've had a look over everything. We have all the links that we need. It's all good to go. When the status changes to done, create an item. Oh, so first we need to select a board. Um, so for example, uh, maybe once it's done, we need to, what would we need to do? Let's have a look. Maybe it's going to create a recurring task. So this is a consulting client that I work with. Um, it might create a recurring task in that board. Um, so obviously you have the different groups that you can choose from. Um, the only group that we have for this particular client is the bi-weekly content calendar. Um, Maybe in the bi-weekly content calendar, we're also going to create um, a YouTube video. So um, we could put start SEO research for you. Oops. YouTube video. Um, for that content calendar's YouTube video. Now we can add a project manager. Um, we can add a creative lead um, because those are two columns that I have set up in that board. Um, we've got statuses, do, do, do. awesome. And then we wanna add, what can we add? We can link the, um, I think we wanna link uh, the description it'll basically give them the information from the onboarding form. And then you can click done and create automation. Cool, so now every time I go into this onboarding form, check it all and click done, it's gonna create a new task in my consulting client's board um, so that the team can start, my creative lead can start doing the SEO research for a new YouTube video to be included in their content calendar. So as you can see, um, when you start to set up these automations with monday.com, it can save you so much time in terms of um, just creating tasks um, and project management in general. But uh, that's pretty much all in terms of the client onboarding form. If you have any questions, please don't uh, feel 
scared to put them down below. I'm more than happy to help um, if you want somebody to help you create your client onboarding form. And if you found this video useful, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notifications as to when we put out new tutorial videos like this. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.